Hey there. You ever wonder what it feels like to fly? Well, I'm gonna give this a try. I'm gonna throw you as far as I can. Watch this. Well, that wasn't very fun. You were totally out of control. But today on DIY Sci, you're gonna learn how to control flight and learn how to make things fly. There it is, there it is. Nice. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Escape gravity with fun flying things you can make at home all today on DIY Sci. I'm Steve Spangler, and I love blowing stuff up with the power of science. I'm gonna show you how you can do it yourself. You can harness the power of science in your own home with DIY Sci. I'm Steve Spangler. Welcome to DIY Sci, where today we're at the Boeing Blue Sky Aviation Gallery in beautiful Centennial, Colorado. The Blue Sky Gallery is an interactive aviation center that'll help make you feel what it's like to be in the aerospace industry. And here, we're gonna make a whole bunch of things that fly. Sci Flight 7477 cleared for takeoff. You're gonna want one of these. Watch, let's go. Look at this glider. There it is, there it is, there it is. No wires, no strings. And it lands just like that. We're joined by David Ehrenstein, who is an aerospace engineer in his own right, but you are a master of these walk-behind gliders. You're gonna show us how to make these amazing gliders. They are so incredibly lightweight. So this is gonna be our template. Uh, yes. And, and we're gonna actually build it out of this foam, Yes, right? one sheet of this foam. Got it. So we have a pattern here. Okay. We're gonna lay the foam on the pattern. Get Got the it. foam over that rectangle. Got it. And then take your marker and your ruler. Got it. Trace the pattern onto the foam. The marker will eat through the foam if you press hard, so don't press hard. Now grab a pair of scissors. Yes. Don't run with them. Yes. Follow the pattern that you traced onto the foam and carefully make your cuts. Now it's time to make the folds. Foam springs back a little bit, so you can bend it up as hard as you can bend it on this edge. Yeah. And it'll spring back to about the right angle. Good. Amazing. Okay. Cut a small rectangle of duct tape, fold it in half, sticky side to sticky side, center it on the nose of your plane, and you're done. All you need is a board and your plane, and we're ready to go. You can use any kind of board. Any board, it, its job is to create an updraft as you move it.